Moving on to alkenes now. Um, the only difference with alkenes is that they have a double bond instead. That's another way to write that one. Uh, and so uh, for propene, so it's basically the same stem but an ene at the end now. Um, and so that's too many, by the way. Um, that's one, two, three, four. Uh, and so that's how we write those there. Okay, so it's a little bit different at the start. Uh, and so if you're looking at the formula, you will find if you work it out at CN, uh, H2N. Again, uh, just practice trying to guess that out uh, based on the previous slide. And once you know how to work that out, leave it at that and don't try and memorize that. Uh, and we'll call that functional group the carbon-carbon double bond. Okay, so there are many ways to name functional groups and that's the one we're going with. Um, and that's, uh, that's it for alkenes. Yeah, um, just a look at how to name them. Again, just going over the previous, um, some of the previous points here, select the longest carbon chain. Uh, this time we put an ene. Uh, it's best to tell us where the ene is. Um, if it is just uh, a one, sometimes it's ignored uh, because it's in implied, okay? Uh, and so the ene here has got the preference. Uh, we'll worry about which should get the preference and which shouldn't. Uh, towards the end of this once we've covered them all. Okay, for benzene is a special compound. So benzene here is, it doesn't actually look like that, but that's how we'll draw it. There's actually hybridization going on, uh, but we don't learn that in this syllabus. So it doesn't actually act like that. It's actually the, the electrons are spread throughout. Um, you don't need to know that. Uh, just know that it's called benzene. And if it comes up as, as a group that comes off something else, you call it a phenyl. Uh, so maybe there's like a 2-phenyl as a phenyl group popping off the second carbon in a chain. Okay. Uh, 